Navy ships typically sail around a storm, but when the USNS Comfort left Norfolk last month, it sailed directly into the COVID-19 pandemic in New York City. Attending your sides, Regina Mobley checked in with a commanding officer mm -hmm. to see how patients and crew members are doing aboard the Comfort. Well, Tom, when Navy medical units train, they train for war. And the mission in New York is a full-scale battle against a formidable but invisible enemy. Tonight, the commanding officer says, fortunately, they have the equipment and the expertise to get the job done. Initially, the captain was told the Comfort would only treat non-COVID-19 patients, but that changed quickly as cases in New York soared. 120 people have been treated on the Comfort. More than half of them are positive and fighting for their lives. We still have patients that are inbound uh, for admission uh, today. Uh, predominantly, well, I would say uh, about 60% of our patients now are COVID positive whether they are in the ICU on a ventilator or receiving dialysis treatments or on the wards. Meanwhile, four members of the crew have tested positive for the virus. Three have been cleared and returned to service, and one is on the mend. To stop the virus from spreading, the ship and crew have been cut in half. More or less cordoned off the hospital itself from the rest of the ship to minimize uh, the potential spread of the virus. We've moved uh, about half of the crew of the ship, those that are providing direct patient care to a local hotel. Navy Corpsman Ian Murphy is 19 years old and from New York. He is honored to serve the people of his hometown. And of course, patients on the men get a good laugh when they hear his voice. But when I do, everybody laughs pretty hard. And they're like, oh, New York, you're from here. And I laugh about that. And then they ask, which borough, right? Yeah, which or borough? And I thought, Brooklyn. And then uh, my family's from Queens and Brooklyn and Jersey. Jersey, did you hear that? Well, Captain Amersbach told me, quote, I've been in the service a very long time, and this has been the most significant and impactful mission of my entire career. Regina Mobley, telling your side.